I would say the cybercrime environment over the last 20 years has gone from a, a kind of a non-intense environment where you talked about hackers, young people defacing websites, kind of the foolishness of youth was something that we talked about for years and years and years. Now, it's completely changed. Now you have organized criminal groups, you have nation states, you have uh, all kinds of groups that are doing things that have a more intense motivation and in many cases are much more capable and organized. Maybe one of the biggest frustrations in doing security is that a lot of times it really does take a big visible attack with tangible consequence before people take seriously the investment that's required to stop cyber attack. I don't know if it's a human quality or whether it's just you know, a sign of the times, but it really has been the case that when there's a visible attack, there's generally a lot of activity that comes afterwards. I wish it were not the case, but that empirically has been. Generally, the larger the industry and the more connected the industry is to critical infrastructure or essential services, generally, those industries tend to be somewhat ahead of the curve in terms of cybersecurity. A good rule of thumb is the relationship of a particular industry to critical infrastructure will give you some idea of how advanced they are in terms of cybersecurity. The number one most difficult activity for security teams and security officers and CISOs is figuring out how to prioritize investments and in fact how to figure the return on investment for particular protection. So if you want to upgrade your firewall or put in more encryption or do you more user training, all of these things provide return and it's extremely difficult to quantify those returns. It's something that almost every security team spends a lot of time on, but almost always it comes down to a qualitative assessment of what the threat is, what the protection is, and then the judgment of the teams that are involved to figure out which investments are going to make the most sense.